what's up everybody mr. Reed here just gonna go over some quick basic uh, command items that's associated with uh, the new Nvidia shield Google assistant update 6.0 um, yeah so uh, at this point it seems as though the command uh, process is pretty finicky uh, meaning that uh, sometimes you have to kind of play with certain commands in order to get them to work properly. But uh, for some of the more common commands uh, that I see people being interested in are obviously playing videos and the video enabled apps, uh, music, uh, things like that. So let's start off with a basic command. Uh, hey Google play me videos of Amsterdam in YouTube sure playing Amsterdam videos on YouTube hi I'm Rick Steves back with more of the best of Europe this time I'm trying to find hey, my hotel somewhere in the back canals of Amsterdam. Thanks for joining. Stop. Home. All right, and for whatever reason, which this is something that I'm just discovering, uh, the always available. Uh, part of this process does not seem to work while recording video. If I press the microphone button on the controller, it does allow me to offer commands. So if you don't hear me saying, OK, Google, it's because I'm pressing the mic button on the controller first. OK, so um, let's see another item. Uh, let's go with Amazon Video. Open Amazon Video. All right. Home. Okay. Next, we'll do something like. Uh, a music request play today's hits in Pandora radio stations aren't available on Pandora play thumbprint radio in Pandora all right here's a Pandora station called thumbprint Stop. All right. So those things work as expected. Um, other native Android TV apps will respond as well. Um, we'll try live channels, for example. Open live channels. Nothing lasts forever, especially in Stop. video game land. I'm Tony, and this GameSpot News update is saying goodbye to the Wii Shop channel. Stop. The Wii Shop channel will be shutting down on January 31st, 2019. Furthermore, you won't be able Close. to add Wii points to your account past March 26, 2018. So get in all your two-generation old purchases Home. now. Alternatively, you can transfer your purchases to the Wii U via the system transfer feature. But Nintendo also stated that this functionality will cease at Stop some point live in 2019 channels. as well. So, rest in peace, Wii Shop Channel. The soon-to-be-retired channel was a great way to play so retro games on plenty of is, platforms. Uh, some of the things you may come across during this process. Um, there is still some controller input that may be required at certain points right now. Um, I don't have much of an issue 
with that considering that this has only been released for barely a day at this point um, another thing uh, side loaded apps uh, so I have direct TV for tablets installed so let's see how that responds open direct TV home all right so one of the other things that uh, I wanted to point out was when searching for movie titles music titles uh, and you get the description of the item on screen it will basically give you a list of available player or app options uh, to where that content can be played um, I've noticed so far that this seems to work best when you have those apps open uh, let me see if I can give you an example of what I'm referring to Grandma's Boy. Here is some information about Grandma's Boy. Okay, so as you see here, it gives me the options of uh, YouTube, Trailer, and Google Play. Um, I would think that this would be available in other locations. Um, one thing I do want to point out is since I don't have my local media connected to this particular shield, uh, Cody or SPMC will probably not show up. Well, Cody will not show up. SPMC may show up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, open SPMC, uh, do the request again, and see if I get an option to play the movie in SPMC. All right. Home. Open SPMC. Grandma's Boy. Here is some information about Grandma's Boy. Okay, so it's still not showing up there. Um, I would suspect that it's because I don't have my local storage connected right now but if I did I would have an option for Cody and SPMC along with YouTube and Google Play um, again some quirkiness at this point um, you would think that you wouldn't need to have the app open in order for those options to show but that's what I've seen so far if you've seen something different, definitely feel free to let me know. Um, let's see. Home. So aside from that, I mean, of course, all the basic stuff works. What's the weather? Right now in San Carlos, it's 66 and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 72 and a low of 57. One of the other commands that I've uh, learned from uh, my experience with the Google Home device is uh, just the command of Google Assistant telling you about your day. Tell me about my day. Hey, Marcus. It is 10.56 a.m. Right now in San Carlos, it's 66 and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy, with a forecasted high of 72 and a low of 57. By the way, you need to cancel the unlimited data plan tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Alright, here's the latest news. Skip. Sorry, I can't do that on YouTube. Marvel's Inhumans special premiere. Listen to this. Skip. Um, I this will be the lowest top marginal income. Close. 
So as you see, that's pretty cool. Gives you a breakdown, gives you uh, weather, calendar items, reminders, um, news, uh, which of course you would configure those news headlines and items within the Google Home app, um, which of course is where you would manage everything associated with Google Assistant. Um, aside from that, I'm not sure if there's anything else. Um, there are other apps that I can open without issue. Open Terrarium TV. Close. So again, um, in terms of commands that open applications, that seems to be the strong point right now. Uh, in terms of commands that actually play things, seems to be pretty limited to uh, YouTube, Pandora, Spotify. Um, I don't have a Netflix account, so I've not been able to try that, but I would expect that to be somewhat stable. Um, but again, I'm not really sure, so don't quote me. Um, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much that in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, reply, give a like, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you feel. And uh, I will see you on the next one.